Hi everybody, I'm back again. Um, I just wanted to finish up um, the Rugrats and show you how they came out. However, what I did was I made a big boo-boo and this is an order, so I think I'm gonna have to redo Tommy because he came out so much larger than Angelica. Um, they're the same, when you do it on the silhouette, when you do it, this is going to be 22 inches. He's 22 inches. But her hair should have been that much higher, if you do understand what I'm talking about. And same thing with Susie. Susie's going to probably be the same height as Angelica, and Tommy's still going to be too big. So I might have to redo him. I'm not sure. But um, I wanted to show you how they came out. Their table, they're for tables. You really can't put these on the floor next to a table. They come out a little too small at two feet. Um, if you did, um, did them about three feet, maybe three and a half feet, it would look great on the floor next to a table. Unless if you put them on something next to a table at two feet, then you should be okay. But at this height, um, I think they're great for tables. So that you could see the comparison of two feet. Um, this is my 7-Eleven cup. But it's like the Dunkin' Donuts cup. That's how big it is. So really, you can't put this on the floor. Unless, again, if you put it on top of something. I'm going to send pictures of this to my client to see if she likes it like this. If she doesn't, then I will redo Tommy. Um, to redo Angelica and Susie would be just way too much to make them taller. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how I put them together. And remember I had said to you her neck was really skinny, so I had to put two skews in one that went this way and one that went that way so that it was actually sturdier. So the same thing with Susie, she has a very narrow neck. So I'm going to wind up putting one through right behind her neck so that it will hold up straight. Also, I wanted to point out Tommy is very top heavy. His head is tremendous. So when I drilled the hole in my base, I off-centered it and made it on a diagonal so that it wasn't squared off because I needed extra support on his, um, on this side of him so that he wouldn't topple over. If I put it in the center, he was going like this. So this actually gives me the extra support for him. Okay. Um, Angelica's really straight, so her square base wound up being in the center. So I hope everybody understands that part too, so that, you know, when you do your own, you actually see that these are the ways that you can um, manipulate it so that it works for you and your characters. So Angelica's really straight. She's going to be a little top-heavy because of her hair, but um, I'm going to kind of put her on a slant so one leg will be up higher than the other and it'll work fine. So let me bring the camera down a little bit so you can see how I'm putting this together with my um, skews, popsicle sticks, whoops, popsicle sticks, and um, show you how I do it. All right, hold on. Okay. The sun is glaring in a little bit. I hope everybody is okay. But I want to just show you. This is my baby sitting in the window. Hi, Minnie. <laughs> okay, she loves sitting in the window. And she might even come over onto the table in a little while. Alrighty, here we go. Put that over here. And like I said, I'm going to put her off to a slant. I always work on... Um, a cutting board that has all the um, measurements and everything 
So when I lay down my centerpiece, there's an edge, and that's my guideline on a norm for how much of the stick to stick out. So if I go like that, it's about a little bit more than a half an inch for it to um, stick out. And I like my first skew to go straight because this is the one that will um, hold your centerpiece in straight up as you need it. Okay, so let's get going. I'll put one line down. to make sure that I have enough space on the bottom and that it is straight. And then I take some extra um, hot glue and I put it on the sides just to fill it in a little bit just in case. You could never be um, over prepared for stability when you're hanging this, when you're standing it up. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this skew like that. I hope everybody can see that on the slant. So let me move it in a little bit closer for you. such a glare on my computer screen. Okay, that's good. So that's the way I'm going to put this skew in. Again, you want to make sure that your skew goes through the neck because that neck is really skinny. And then again, I'm going to take some um, hot glue and I'm just going to put it into the side just to give it a little bit extra hold. Okay. And now we start with our popsicle sticks. I'm going to start here. You want to try to make your popsicle sticks go zigzag. You don't want them to go horizontal. Going horizontal, what's going to happen is it'll make it bend. It could bend. So you want to try to make all your popsicle sticks go on zigzags. I think I'm fancy. I keep everything in wine glasses. And be careful, it's very hot. And you don't want to go over, overdone with your popsicle sticks. You do too many, then it becomes very heavy. Now this popsicle stick is too long to put into this spot. So I do have, I use a wire cutter, and on one side, Whoops, where are you? Oh my god. On one side is a um is a knife and it's the cutter. So I put the popsicle stick in there. And I cut it. And all I do is go like this. And again I can't find you. I squeeze and I bend and it breaks off easily. So this way it's kind of like a clean cut. Not that it's seen, it's just that I'm a little uh, anal when it comes to, you know, perfectionist. Not anal, not anal retentive, but I'm, I'm perfectionist on it. And then this one could go here. 
just to give it that extra stability. It will not be seen. Trust me. These are full of paper, uh, popsicle sticks. Okay. So her, the bottom's done. But if you notice, look how sturdy it is. She's not bending whatsoever in the middle, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to put diagonal. skew down the middle helps okay now for the hair what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one this way You have to remember, these are thin spots, so you want to use, you want to make sure that it's going to be um, secure. So you'd have to make sure that your popsicle stick goes beyond. You don't want it to be just touching, like the top of the pop popsicle stick. You don't want it to be here. You want it to be able to overlap it. I'm going to put one here. And then after we put all the popsicle sticks, we're going to put it together. If you're new and you and you haven't been to my channel yet. All right, this one has to get cut a little. try not to let the uh, popsicle sticks go too close to the edge because if someone's walking by they could see the inside of it so I try to do it as far in the middle as possible we may need to cut up a piece of popsicle um, skew to go right in here because it's very narrow so let me see. yeah I want to put a little piece there so what I'm going to do is, I don't want to cut it from there. I'm just going to point, just point inside. This way I could use this end. Popsicle sticks kind of shatter or split up and they're not as round at the bottom anymore. So if I want to use it as a, um, a skew to stand it, I need the bottom to be clean and not, not have been cut. Nothing's a waste. Put this one in here. And I'll put another piece. I'm just going to do a little piece here. Then this way I could hot glue that at the end when I put it together. Oops, wrong way.
right, you see how she's not really that flimsy? Okay. Now to put her together. The... See, I put bright pink on her shoes instead of the red, and it looks so much better. So much better. And then what you do is you just sandwich it together. And we're going to go slow. Oops, that's not glued on well enough. That's not good. When you're doing the eraser, make sure that you don't press too hard because you could pull up paper. You want to be very careful, lightly, and you'll wind up getting the glue off. Alright, what I do when I start off is I start with where the skew is that's going to be holding it up. So this way I know that everything is lined up. Um, there is a shadow sometimes, so you have to kind of go o put your head over so that you could see to make sure everything is lined up this way. With one hand I hold it, and just to get the first part all glued down, I make sure that I don't move it. And you could feel that it's warm and you want to make sure that it stays. So I always push down to make sure that it adheres well. And what I'll do is, and then, then when you start gluing it, you have to um, think of how it's going to be the most easiest for you to do it. So I'm going to do this leg now because it's even with this with this leg so I'm just going to glue this popsicle stick down and I'm going to put a little glue right there on her foot and I never really push down on the area that doesn't have a popsicle stick I don't want it to um, curve so I let it just lay there And it will adhere. Okay. And what I do then is I kind of turn her around to where it will be most comfortable for me and without ruining the, the other pieces. So then you bring, unfold her, and we fold her up a little and get your glue gun in there and start gluing and every time you glue just hold down because the glue needs to get adhered and then after you're done you could go around and if there are pieces that um, if there are pieces that you feel that on the edges need to be glued you could do that after you glue the major parts. Okay. And you go slowly. You don't do the whole thing at once because your hot glue will glue will um, dry before you get get down. It'll dry here by the time you get to here. So you want to go slow.
they really came out so cute. I just wish Tommy was a little bit smaller. I got to find out if that's something that's going to bother her. I don't know how I did that. Oh, well. It wasn't like it was a tremendous amount. It's only a few colors of paper. Now these guys, they were a little bit more difficult. Now, since the neck again was very thin, I'm putting extra blue right there. And that's the only part that I'm doing right now. Because I want to make sure that the neck is secure. And the glue seeped out a little bit, but I'll get back in there and pull it out where it's um, made a mess. If you get it when it's like almost dry, it comes off easy. You also don't want to pull too much because it's <laughs> you need the glue in there to adhere. Okay, I'll get back in there in a little while and do more pulling. Okay. Now, gently from this point on, pull, pull the head up so that you could get more glue in there. hold that down so now it's I'm up by her lip so I want to make sure that stays adhered and remember she's got eyelashes if you wanted to take um, this one bent which is no good um, a little bit of your Tombow glue later and glue those lashes together so that you don't have a chance of them curling in different directions. That's an idea. Tommy's hair did the same thing. Okay, and now let's glue in here. We'll get the uh, her head all glued down. See, if you don't let this part dry a little bit more, what happens is when you pull up your piece of paper to glue underneath again, it'll start separating. So it's like doing double the work. So when it starts to cool off is when you could um, do your next glue. I mean, there's been times that I've missed um, popsicle sticks too in the middle. It won't won't really matter because if you got other popsicle sticks, it'll all hold together anyway. I didn't miss any on this one. Okay. Now I want to get this piece of hair. You want to make sure you get it on there fast enough. I wanted to make sure it was on there even. And then we'll do the end. other side. Oh, need more glue.
So, so this is what I do on my Sundays. <laughs> I love working. I love making these. It's like my passion. Keeps me very busy. And you gotta enjoy what you're doing. I mean, I know you crafters out there. We all love crafting. But if you don't love the craft that you're doing, it just defeats the purpose. When it becomes a chore, then you gotta stop. This is no chore for me. I love creating or reproducing these guys. I love doing different ones. I don't like doing the same twice. I mean, sometimes you have to when you have an order, but, you know. Otherwise, I love doing different ones. Okay, so now you have a lot of strings of, um, let me zoom out a little bit, of, um, nope, that's in, um, of the crazy, of the hot glue. So you want to hold it up to like a window, and then you could see where all your pieces are, because then after a while, you, if you're not looking in the window, you can't notice them because they look like spider webs. Okay. If you could see where the mess is in her neck, I don't know if you could see that. But um, we're gonna get in there with an X-Acto knife to, to pull it out. Where or where? And just slide it in, and then you could just cut around your piece to make sure you get all the um, the glue. And it just wants to be stubborn because it's in a spot that I can't get my fingers in. Okay, that's not working. Where are my tweezers? There we go. Now I'm happy. There we go. All right. Now, let's see. Where I think, now if I show you this, like right here, I didn't glue. Can you see that? I mean, I'm having a problem seeing it, so I'm hoping you could see it. But I'm going to throw some crazy, um, I keep calling it crazy glue this morning, or this afternoon. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And on the other side of her cheek. And her ear. This way it doesn't have a chance of ripping. Okay. Put a little bit on the edge of her dress. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line. If you want to write, I kind of don't check my Facebook messages. Um, so if you find me on Facebook and you want to message me that way, um, that would be great because that's the only place that I really look at my messages. Um, and then I could get back to you. Let's see what it looks like in a stand. Now these sands aren't painted yet. I usually paint them black, but I just want to, I use these as, um, for when I take my pictures. I always lay my piece down while I put the stand in because if you push, you might bend her. Well, let's hope 
And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you guys could see. Nope, that's in. Why is that? A... Zoom out a little bit so that you could see with me at the same time if it stands or not. Because you never know when you're doing it. Up and there she goes, and she's got one leg up. Like she's ready to dance. See? It's not touching. So she's, whoops, larger than Angelica also. She's as tall as Tommy. So hopefully my client will be fine with this. Um, I hope everybody, let's see. Let me bring... So you could see, there we go. What do you think? Let me turn her around. I want them facing each other. I think they came out great. Toot toot. Not nice. Alrighty. Everybody have a great weekend. And um, what am I working on next? Um, not sure, but when I work on my next one, I will let you know. Alrighty, have a great weekend. Bye.